so this is what you're going to need for the do-it-yourself reactor guys so this is basically a cheap water filter I know that it has some uh, metal in here but as you can see only the outer ring is metal and it, deep inside it's still uh, plastic and I'm going to use this or uh, those this connection it's also for water and in here I'm going to attach a plastic water pipe you can see that the thread is long and I'm going to use teflon tape and after that I'm going to screw this in here and because I'm going to use teflon tape water will not reach the metal part of the filter and after screwing this right like so it really needs teflon tape because it will leak water if you do not add the, the tape so screw it right over here put the piece of plastic pipe in here a short one and after that I'm go just going to attach a hose to the to the pipe and I'm going to do the same thing uh, over to this side and over here I'm going to need another piece of pipe you can see you can use a PVC plastic pipe I'm going to put it here and it's going to go longer until it reaches the bottom part of the of the casing of the filter because you can see this is the inlet of the water is going to flow down this pipe over here and after that it's going to flow up and through the media the activated carbon on or bio pellets and it's going to reach the top of the filter housing and exit and through that hole so pretty cheapy I pay uh, I paid uh, ten dollars for this filter it's a double gasket one crystal clear big big unit and I can use two of them I can buy another one and connect them in series I can use a piece of pipe over here and connect it connect I and I can connect that piece of pipe to that uh, second filter and uh, in here at the top it has a screw that allows me to remove any air bubbles but actually it does have a metal screw I'm going to unscrew this screw from here and I'm going to plug the hole with some plastic uh, epoxy or something similar just going to cover up the hole because I do not care I just want to remove any metal that is going to be in, co in contact with water so it's going to look something like this but remember with the pipe attached and going down and water will then be forced up the media and exit the filter okay I have used the teflon, uh, teflon tape to cover the this uh, water connector so after that I'm going to screw it in here and because this teflon tape will isolate the water it will never reach the metal part so I'm safe with this looking good so far you can see it now I'm going to use this 20 millimeter uh, PVC pipe and I'm going to create a, a section of pipe that I'm going to be able to attach a hose so I'm going to do that right now and this bigger pipe over here I'm going to put that from the top of the filter casing all the way to the to the bottom so the water will flow from that hole over there it's going to travel through the pipe and it's going to exit here and my filter media my bio pellets and uh, or activated carbon if it works good I'm going to buy another one and, do this and, and connect them in series and the water will flow out from here it's going to travel up I'm going to put a sponge over here just to keep the media in place 
and it's going to exit so really it's the same working principle just like any reactor but way way more cheaper only ten ten dollars guys I have cut my two pieces of pipe it's best that you use a pipe cutter because you will get a nice and clean cut and if the pipe is uh, bended you can use heat I have used a heat gun over here just to to heat the pipe a little so you can bend it in the right position and now I'm going to attach the pipe to the fitting and I will end up with something like this you do not have to use a lot of teflon tape because you are not going to be able to screw this to the, to the end now everything is nice and tight I have space in here I can put the hose over and use a, a clamp or something to, to hold the hose it, it can be metal because it's going to be sitting outside of the water so a metal um, um, I don't know the English name for that but I'm going to show you you can see this one you can use something like this this is made of, out of metal you screw it and it will tight the holes to the fitting I'm using the same system here you can see works great I'm going to use a braided, braided hose just like this one and you know, clamps like those one okay well there you have it guys I have attached the pipe I did use the pipe cutter of course and also the heat gun if you do not have a heat gun you can uh, just put the, the pipe over a flame to really heat up the pipe you, you can uh, then you can you are going to be able to uh, move the pipe and enlarge the pipe uh, as you please you can see working great water is going to come from here it's going to travel down and then up to the filter media I'm going to put a sponge here and it's going to be exiting that hole over here nice and easy took me less than 20 minutes let's uh, I'm going to put the, the reactor together and see how that looks you can see it's looking pretty good crystal clear or plastic like I said water it's not going to be able to reach this metal ring so if you're buying this uh, kind of filter just watch in the hardware store to find where something where the metal ring is uh, uh, thinner there are some models that have uh, a metal ring all the way to the back but if you use teflon tape I don't think it's going to be a problem like I said I am going to remove the screw but I think it's um, I don't think the screw it's made from copper I think it's stainless steel or something I don't know I'm going to think about it but it's looking okay you can see it and there it's going to sit my bio pallets or my activated carbon I'm just going to need a sponge with a, a, a hole through that sponge so to keep the media from uh, exiting the, the filter yeah it's working and I'm going to I'm going to put it to the test check this out guys with a little heat from my heat gun I managed to squeeze this hose onto the plastic pipe and this is going to be my in you can see it and out is going to be over there so this hose is the same hose that I'm using for my aquarium I'm just going to have to cut the hose that is coming from my sump pump cut it and put this uh, reactor through the hose but now let's go ahead and test this with only water you can see it's looking great and here I'm going to 
use a metal clamp that is it's going to keep this hose here and will not allow it to exit but I don't think I'm going to have any leaks it's nice and tight looking great you can see that the arrow is showing to the left which is going to be the exit but for me to use this as a reactor this one is going to be the uh, entrance of the water the so water is going to be coming in and it's going to travel down the pipe it's going to exit from the pipe and travel up again and it will going to reach the hole and the exit will be on the right so let me plug in the pump to show you guys how it's working okay you can see the water it's raising up it's going to come out from the right like so Well, I have my reactor running, water is coming in from the right, going to the pipe down at the reactor, you can see the air bubbles, and after that it is exiting from the right, I do not see any leaks, you can see my pump over there, and I'm going to add some activated carbon to this uh, do-it-yourself reactor and after that I'm going to be adding some uh, bio pellets so right now I'm just going to keep an eye for any leaks you can see it I'm running out of space underneath my aquarium there are some tiny air bubbles I, I hope that they are going to go away looking good I will have to to maybe add another supporting uh, hook in this part and I'm going to catch it from over here and I don't know if I'm going to have room for two of these but now I only need one just to put some activated carbon now I put the activated carbon inside the uh, a fine mesh I know it's not perfect because water always finds the easiest way to to travel but it is sitting in the water it's absorbing uh, the medication from my tank it is a lot more efficient than just putting this filter bag inside my sump like I used to do because now all of the water from my tank is traveling through this uh, reactor way more efficient and I just wait to to complete medicating my tank and get rid of ick and after that I'm going to put some uh, bio pellets in here and see how are they doing of course I'm going to keep an eye for any leaks no more air bubbles looking great I like it and of course I can put another one here and another one and another one my pump it's powerful it's maybe it's a, it has a setting that you can adjust the flow and right now it's at the minimum it creates a lot of head pressure you can see it pushes the water like so over here into this reactor coming out and out to the tank over there it's running I like it I hope that it's going to hold up and not have any leaks I do have some leak detectors over there and another one over there 
Uh, I'm going to do a video about those later. But now I'm just going to keep an eye for my dual shear reactor to see how it is running. Thanks a lot for watching guys and have a great day. Bye.